So it's been a while since we've updated YouTube. We've just been sleepless. I am four weeks postpartum, so I have a four week old baby. And I'm trying to get back into training, but you have to be really cautious getting back, just healing. And so I've actually felt the best, like no pelvic floor pain on the bike. So I've been doing a lot of bike workouts. I've also looked back at, I have a five-year-old and when I returned to sport after him as well, it was a lot of cross training, not a whole lot at the beginning, just kind of getting the body moving, make sure that all my muscles are working properly. Breastfeeding and just having a child, not getting a lot of sleep, I'm really prone to injury. And so I'm really trying to just get back in shape slowly. Um, so that I'm able to be healthy and return to training and racing quicker. George was the first two weeks especially, you know, we'd only get like an hour max of sleep. We're starting to get now at a time. Now we're starting to get more like two, two and a half hours at a time, which if I can get three hours, I feel amazing. But so we've been tired, so we haven't really updated YouTube and I feel like I haven't really had much to say, but yeah, we're just gonna try to continue to update YouTube with how the return's going, training, some day in the life stuff, and anything else, Pat? We're hoping we can get Evan back. <laughs> so. Yes, I need Evan back. <laughs> Evan back is my training partner for running. Evan, oh, I need you. I'm also, you know, I'm gonna be cross training more, so if anybody wants to be my swimming partner, let me know, and they're willing to come to me. I think, you know, especially now with George, I have like even today, we have a new videographer, Matt. Hi, Matt. <laughs> um, we had to change the time a little bit because I'm exclusively breastfeeding. So there's like a one and a half hour time limit. I can be training and gone. So, and I'm not really gone. I mean, he's on the other side of that with my mom, but yeah, so. A lot of the training now is around George and hopefully he starts to eat less frequently and I'm able to train a little bit longer and it'll be good. When I raced post Stanley, was it five or six months? It was, I mean, it was just at like five months. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so Stanley I raced like five months post, but this birth, I haven't done an update on YouTube forever. It was so wonderful. Um, like I only pushed for 20 minutes. I only had two stitches, first degree tear. So like all very minimal stuff, which has allowed me to sit down at a table without pain, not be bedridden. Like I have all these, like I could just kind of live my daily life, which I couldn't do with Stanley. So this labor was so much better. So I just feel more eager to return to training. But again, I'm trying to take it slow just so I don't get injured. And yeah, so last time, you know, I raced about five months. I'm not trying to set a timeline because I think for me personally, when I set a timeline, set a race, that's when I really tend to get injured because I rush into it. So right now it's just all about keeping my body in check, making sure I'm returning in a safe way, which I've had Lindsay uh, Golich help me in my return. She's wrote this workout that I'm actually doing today, which is four by five minutes. She has 145 watts. I'll probably go over that, but I'm supposed to just kind of do big cadence. We don't want a lot of bouncing because we don't want pressure on that pelvic floor. So more about just like big gear kind of grinding it out. And so it's been wonderful to have her kind of help write my training because I know if I did it, I'd be doing way too much right now.